If you guys want to win this black market decal on my car right now, make sure you enter the giveaway by following these three simple steps. The first step is to subscribe to my channel with post notifications on. The second step is to make sure you've dropped a like in today's video. And finally, the third step is to comment your username and platform so I know what platform you are on. And don't forget to check out logo.com if you want to buy some Rocket League items and credits with real life money as they have the cheapest prices possible and use discount code AIM for a 6% discount. Go check them out in the description below. Alright guys, in today's video we make loads of profit so I'm not going to bore you guys with the chat. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, in this first trade we gave some forest green velos for two import momentum blueprints. You may be wondering why I traded for blueprints, but it's because I wanted to trade them up in hopes of getting a really good item. Here I bought a Crimson um, Octane for 1400 credits. This is 100 uh, below the minimum price while well, making the video, and it was certified, so that's always a bonus. Here's the Interstellar I bought. Pretty sure I bought it for 100 under minimum price. Um, pretty sure 1900 credits it was there, so that, that's quite a lot of credits. But it was worth it because I did sell them for 100 more than I bought for. Simple way to make profit, but it's effective and it works. Here I sold it, so as you can see that I sold it for 2,000 credits. Here I gave this guy a crimson Fen crimson octane with loads of rare decals and 500 credits. So it's basically 1,900 credits because I bought it for 1,400 and then I sold it for 2,050 credits. So I made 150 credits from that trade because all them decals are probably worth about 10 credits by themselves anyway. And I got them for free, so it doesn't really matter. Here I bought a black standard for 1,000 credits. I really wanted to keep this guys, but for the sake of YouTube, I decided to sell it for more eventually. I was I was just holding on to it until I get a better deal, but I kind of did like sell it in the end because I, I don't know. Tell me if it's okay if I keep some items, guys. It's up to you guys because I don't want to like hold the series back because I just want to keep an item but yeah here I bought a knocker very rare you see here I bought a knocker very rare and a pink octane for 300 credits so that's 250 for the octane 50 for the knocker very rare so that's about 100 under min for the octane and the knocker very rare just the normal price I buy it for here I sold the salty banner for 70 credits which is what I normally sell for because it's a knocker very rare it's easy to sell so I just sold it for 70 right there here I bought a piece of slice another knocker very rare and yeah, this is just non crit very rare I'm buying recently. But it's a really good way of trading. It doesn't make you the most profit, but it does make you profit. Here I bought an Interstellar for 1900 again. I got probably sold it for 2050 again. Because it is a really easy item to sell. And I suggest buying any item you can see under minimum price. However, don't buy limiteds under minimum price unless it's like 500 because they're really hard to sell. Here I bought non crit very rare and two non crit rares for 70 credits, which is so it's non crit rares 50 credits alone. Then the drink helmet I could probably sell for 20, but I'm buying for 10. And the cherry I bought for 10, but I, I could probably trade that up to a non crit very rare and make 20 credits profit if I if I um, trade that up. This guy did take his time to accept the trade because he was just he was a little like he didn't know if he should do it, but he did do it in the end. You can see here. I bought the two non crit very rares, or one non crit very rare and two non crit rares. Here I sold this pink octane for 340 credits and five uncommons, which is basically 350 credits. So that's a basically 100 above what I bought it for. So that's 100 credits profit. Easy right there. But it's only 90 and five uncommons, but it's still profit. Profit is profit, guys. Here I sold four non crit very rares for 200 credits, which is, um, no, not 200, 208 credits, which is 70 credits each, which is a decent trade. And let's get into the next trade. Here I saw this Interstellar for 2,030 credits and a Saffron Endo. And that Endo was worth 100 to 200 credits. So I accepted it, but you won't believe the deal I got for that Endo. I was so shocked. I never believed that would happen. But here I sold it for 280 credits. That is an insane price. 80 credits above maximum price for a hard to sell item. It's insane, guys. I don't know how I got it, but it was worth. It was like in five seconds of buying it as well. Here I sold the in, the black standard for 1,140 credits and a non crit very rare, which is 1,200 credits. So I basically made 200 credits from that if I sell this non crit very rare. Here I sold 24 limiteds for 50 credits. The, all the limiteds were unpainted or painted rocket pass items that I didn't really need, and my inventory was getting a little bit messy. So I decided to sell most of the stuff for 50 credits. This, and then he did 4 credits for this because I didn't have 24. But I didn't really mind credits, credits, so 
this is an alright deal. I could probably got more, but I didn't really want to spend the time selling each limited for 10 credits. So I just did 40 and 50 for 24 and 20. Here I sold some items. Pretty sure I sold the Dominus Menudo. I don't really. Oh, yeah, he bought these two items. Oh, no, just the Dominus Menudo for 50 credits, which is quite a lot as I don't remember how much I bought it for. Probably 10 credits. So that's a really good deal. 40 credits profit if I ever buy for 10. I can't really remember, but. Here I bought a Cobalt Scorer Octane um, Fennec for 410, credit, 410 credits, which is 90 credits under the minimum price, and it is Scorer, so I did sell it for 510 credits, which is 100 credits profit, easy right there, that's 10 credits above minimum price as well, so it's not the worst deal, it is profit, so that was quite a good trade right there. Here I bought another blueprint for 30 credits, because I just wanted to see if I could trade up for a really good item blueprint to craft but um, I didn't really end up you know getting any good items but I did buy the blueprints just in case because I did want a striker interstellar that was titanium white oh I did five credits actually but a striker titanium white interstellar would have been amazing but I didn't get one pretty sure I got a gravity bomb which is not the best item it, it wasn't really worth anything really I probably just wasted some credits there but it doesn't really matter as I have quite a lot of credits to spare how about some blueprints for 30 credits. I'm pretty sure I just bought like the smoke. I don't remember how much of them I bought, but I did buy. Yeah, I bought all of them. Okay, that's like that's like 19 19 blueprints for 30 credits. I'll take it because you can trade them all up. And I did really need the import ones. Here yeah, I bought some more import blueprints, 30 each. I don't know why I decided to just all of a sudden want to trade up some blueprints, but whatever. I I, I probably lost like 100 credits, and I did make like. Not really any, but whatever. But another one here for 30. I'd also suggest them um, trading up blueprints unless you have loads of them to spare. By the way, if you don't know, you can trade them up clicking L3 or the left analog stick, depending on what console you're on. Here I bought um, a 20XX, a Lime Octane, and Titanium White Zombies for 2,000 or uh, 3,000 credits. So that is basically 100 credits quick sell on the 20XX and the Zombies, but the minimum price for the Octane. But I can easily sell the Octane. Uh, for more, here I sold the 20XX for 700 when I bought it for basically 650 or 550, depending on what way you look at it. But that is quite a lot of profit there. Here I bought a Titanium White Zomber blueprint for 1,050 credits, and the White Zombers were above like they were like 2,250 credits at the time. So I did decide to build it and make 100 credits profit if I do end up selling it. And this is the first time I built a blueprint because I never really wanted to build blueprints. Here I sold it for a Dissolver and 150 credits, which is about 2,250 credits if I sell the Dissolver for minimum price, which is quite a good deal as I wasn't really getting any sales for this um, White Zomba, so I did accept it. And here I sold it for 2,100 and is that 50? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, 2,150 credits. That is quite a lot of profit as... Um, oh no, 2,100 credits, my bad. That's quite a lot of profit. It's 100 credits above what I bought for. Here I sold the Lime Octane for 700 credits, which is 50 above what I bought it for, which is a really good deal there because I did get some White Zombies I got here. I sold them for Lime Octane again, 20XX again, and then a Fennec, which is like, so this was all like 2,200 credits altogether, and I probably made more profit out of it than he gave me, so yeah, I did get some profit out of this trade. Lime Octane, 20XX, yeah. I sold the um, Fennec for minimum price at the time. 450 credits which is quite a good deal right there that's just um minimum price most people want to buy under but i did get minimum but i could have probably bought sold it for mid but i didn't really have the patience here i sold the 20xx for 650 credits which is minimum price so currently we're at 1100 from from them zombies we'll see how much we get here 700 so that's 1800 from them zombies and we still have uh what was the other item he gave us oh he gave us 500 credits so that is 2,300 credits he gave us. And this is our inventory after all the trading, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And we did make quite a lot of profit. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.